something that I want to cover that I think uh, every guy kind of thinks about, but a lot of guys have never experienced. How would you like a woman to reveal her deepest desires to you, her deepest fantasies, to want to have the wildest experiences she's ever had with you? Um, how would you like her to trust you enough to want to do these things or feel safe enough to tell you anything? Um, and uh, I used to really want this, and I couldn't get it to save my life. I would, like, try to push the boundary sexually. I would try to take things to crazier places. And uh, girls oftentimes would back up. They'd feel a little nervous. And I didn't understand why this was. And um, it has to do a lot with what we call protecting a woman's fantasies. And protecting a woman's fantasies is a very, very important concept because most, a lot of men today get this backwards. Um, see, women have two things they basically need uh, taken care of for them. And one of them is uh, they need to feel like you would never judge them for any desire they ever have. This doesn't mean you'll do the desire, just that you would never judge them for it. And I mean even micro-expressions, this is where you got to work out your shit. Um, and number two, you're not going to run and tell everybody else about what she loves and what turns her on. So once you're a grounded and solid guy, you can really um, appreciate women, and you can and you don't, and you can handle tension really well because tension is not just delivering it; it's receiving it and grounding it, and, and being solid and, and not not and letting go of the need to react to it uh, nervously. Um, then what happens is uh, is you can start opening a woman to her fantasies, and a woman's biggest fear in life is being labeled a slut or a whore, and they shouldn't be. I mean, that's wrong, right? But a lot of guys still do it. A lot of guys think they should. And uh, what you're actually doing when you do that is you're keeping her from ever wanting to do anything crazy with you. But you got to realize that a lot of women, most women as far as I'm concerned, not everybody in the world, but most women are really wildly sexual. They want to explore. They want to experience. They want, and they want to do crazy things, and they're looking for a man they can trust to do it with. So they may tell their, their last boyfriend because they love him, but he couldn't handle it. That she's only had sex with two, three guys, five guys, whatever. And she won't ever open up to what she's really done. Maybe she had threesomes. Maybe she was at a swingers party once. Maybe she did this, that, the other. But she's not going to tell him because that, she'd lose him. He can't handle it. And some women haven't done anything, and they want to explore. And some women are, are truly asexual. Most women land in the wilder category from what I've seen. A little bit wilder category. They have wilder fantasies than men by far. But not many men get to see this side of women. And it has a lot to do with the feeling that you'll judge them. And just telling them you won't judge them isn't enough. They have to feel it from you. They have to feel your presence and feel your groundedness and feel that you don't ever, ever label women that way. And that you would protect them, their fantasy, sexually, no matter what. Even if you two broke up, that you're a solid guy that she can trust. And then what happens is the, door, the floodgates start to open. You get to hear more and more of the naughty stuff she wants to do, a little bit at a time, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, and she starts to realize that you can handle it. I once had an ex-girlfriend, I was practicing this, and I once had an ex-girlfriend say to me um, um, that one of her big fantasies was to have sex with five cowboys in the back of a pickup truck, and, uh, and it doesn't mean I'm going to do it. I didn't do it, but I didn't react to it poorly. I just grounded it, whatever. And you know what happened? She opened up more and more and more. And then suddenly she, I got to see a wilder, more sexual side than I'd ever seen before because I just enjoyed it. I said, that's beautiful. Nothing wrong with that. You're, you're a human being. Shit, one of my fantasies is to have sex with five women. And it doesn't mean she's going to go do that with me. But now she feels safe to share with me. And then suddenly she's, she becomes more comfortable letting me share my fan, wildest fantasies with her because she starts to trust me more too. Um, uh, another um, example of this was I was out with a girl. And this is often, uh, if you guys are having trouble getting sex and being made to wait a long time for sex, just in basic relationship, just basic dating, this is also probably a big reason why. I was out with a girl one time. And uh, just recently, a little while back, be before my current girlfriend, and we were on a first date. And um, and by the way, I read a statistic somewhere that said that women are waiting five dates now 
on askmen.com. It was men are waiting five, women are waiting five dates to have sex with men these days, and I'm like, that's not my, been my experience ever. So I think that's a bunch of BS. Women need to trust. This is what women need. They need to trust this before they're going to want to move forward sexually with you. Otherwise, they will make you wait based on your level of insecurity. Um, so I was out with her on the first date, and I'm, I'm notorious for doing this, just getting sexual right away and just looking at the girl and being forward, pushing tension, uh, raising it way up. And so I looked at her, and from a grounded, feeling place, a very penetrating gaze, because we, we had been talking for a while, sitting on a, in a lounge, and I just said, I want you to come home with me tonight. And I held it in the silence, and I just waited. And I watched her eyes dart back and forth, look at me for a few seconds, study me. She was just waiting to see if I broke. I just stayed in attention. I stayed in feeling good. I stayed relaxed. And then I just said, no, then she said, what, what if I did? What would you think of me? And I just said, I don't play that game. She said, what do you mean? I said, I know women are just as sexual as men. They enjoy sex just as much, if not more, than men. And I would never hold a woman back from enjoying herself. That's just wrong. And then I sat in attention again. She thought for a second. And then she goes, okay. And what she was literally doing was reading me right there. Was I solid? Was I honest? Was I clear? Did I stay in the tension? Did I break? Did I get nervous? And when I didn't, she, I was suddenly trustable. And guys are built to do this stuff. That is tension. You're all built to do it. Um, it's part of your nature as being a masculine male. It's part of what you're built to do being a man. Um, and uh, I want to invite all of you to start journals around tension right away. I want to invite all of you to start practicing um, uh, playing with tension right away. And, uh, and start with the littlest things all the way up to big things. If you're already a pretty grounded guy, solid guy, you can probably get away with a lot more right away. All you have to do is start working on being more proactive rather than reactive in the way you apply tension. Years and uh, especially when I was first learning it would happen. Uh, guys love to go steal women from other guys and love to push guys' boundaries, test other men. I think sometimes some of these guys, some of the more assholeish guys, love to do that more than they really want to get the girl. It's about them because they're so nice and they listen so well and they're connected and they've got this great open energy. But if they're being cold to you, shutting off on you, that's a whole different story. And that might mean that you're not connected to your emotions.